um, side use of the athletic. When, given how much the team relies on Jamie for, you know, leadership and emotion and all that, how tough is it when the game starts out the way that it does with that mistake? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, I, I guess let's put it this way. I mean, you know, made a mistake, feels really badly about it. I don't think anyone in the building feels worse than he does about it. Uh, I'm not going to pile on him. He's been a leader here, you know, for his entire career and uh, leads by example every day on and off the ice. Made a mistake. Fortunately, Mark Stone's okay, you know, and, uh, you know, we've got to live with the consequences, and the consequences were, you know, it was uh, a big hole. So, um, but I'm not going to stand here and pile on tonight. I don't think does anybody any good. In the middle, fourth row. Uh, Mike Leslie from WFA. Hey, Coach, when you guys have talked about leadership so much throughout these playoffs, and we've seen it on display in, yeah. in multiple different places, but for your leader to make a play like that a minute and a half, minute and 53, I believe it was, into the hockey game, yeah. how difficult did that make it for you guys to find well, yourselves I, I just, after I, that? Yeah, I, I just told you I'm not, I'm not going to pile on. You know, if you're going to ask a que the question differently and expect me to give a different answer, I'm not. You know, I uh, told you he made a mistake. Uh, no one feels worse about it than he does. Like I said, thankfully, Mark Stone's okay. And... Uh, um, you know, we, we, we will live with the consequences, whatever they are. We lived with them tonight and we'll live with them going forward if, if there's any other supplemental discipline. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a reactionary sport. It's a heat of the moment sport. There's a, there's a lot of stuff going on there uh, on the ice. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not judging jury and I'm not gonna play that tonight. Up front. Hi, Pete. Taylor Baird, NHL.com. Tyler Sagan said that he that they collectively lost the room tonight. How do you react to one of your leaders coming out and saying that? What do you mean lost the room? That's what he said. Yeah, I, I don't know what that means. I'd have to hear the context of it. I, I don't know what that means. Right side, I, I, second row? Doesn't, I, I, my initial reaction to that is I, I don't agree with that, but... You know, I, I'd have to hear the context. I don't, I'd be surprised if that was said. Greg Wyshynski, ESPN. How hey, concerned are you right now with uh, Ottinger? Yeah. Well, I, I think we're concerned with our, with our whole team. We're in a 3 nothing hole. So, and listen, we wouldn't be sitting here playing right now with Jake Ottinger. We wouldn't be sitting here playing without Jamie Benn. You know, those guys have been huge pieces of, of, of us getting here. So I think we all have to be better in order to dig out of this hole. Stay on the left. Hey, Pete. Uh, just uh, the whole start of the game, they score first, Jamie's thing, then Dadunov yeah. goes out. Uh, just was that pretty much the worst start that you could have kind of scripted? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure you could script much worse. I actually liked our energy. I, I loved us on the penalty kill. I thought even, even though we gave up the first goal and, and, and Jamie took the penalty, I thought – uh, we had the legs and the energy and the attitude to kind of survive it, and you know we didn't. So um, you know that's the un unfortunate part of it. And um, you know, and now we're, now we're in a big hole. You know, and uh, we've got to find a way to win a game on Thursday. In the middle, uh, Coach Mack Engel, Fort Worth Star Telegram. Sometimes a coach will say they had a sense something's coming. Did you have any indication at all? that you guys might be vulnerable to playing like this in the last no. day or so? No, you know what, it's actually, I was saying to my staff, I mean, this, is, this isn't this is anything like I pictured it. I, I thought I thought we were ready to have a great game. And, uh, you know, I, I felt like that in the dressing room, on the bench. I felt we had good energy, good legs. I thought we were ready to, to play a real good hockey game. Right side. Tracy Myers, hey, Tracy. NHL.com. Uh, just to... Uh, Ask more about Adenoff. How is he, and uh, how tough of a loss was that? Just given you already were down a four. Yeah, well, we were short bench all night, right? Jamie goes out, then Adenoff played two minutes and and went out. Uh, I don't have an update on him, but he obviously didn't return. Uh, you know, and then we got a Domi got a ten minute misconduct, so we we were we were short all night. We taxed 
some people. Hey, Coach, I've been Dawkins, BS3 Network. Hi, I'm so Desmond Tutu once wisely said that there's only one way to eat an elephant, and that's one bite at a time. <laughs> Is that going to be your approach going forward, and do you think you can get some traction with that? Yeah, words of wisdom. That, that's fantastic. I, I like that. I might use that tomorrow. That's, uh, that's good. I mean, that, that's the only way you can approach it. I, you know, I, I, I got a lot of belief in our group. You know, we didn't quit. We didn't quit tonight. Uh, despite the score, uh, and I, I don't think we're going to be an easy uh, out. So, um, you know, we're going to be here ready to play on Thursday. Pete, just how tough was that at the end of the second period for the fans, just throwing stuff on the ice? And as an organization, how tough is that to see? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, everybody in the building was frustrated tonight. It's my job. Um, you know, obviously you feel for the team. Everyone prepares to play their best, and unfortunately we get off the set we wanted, and you get called upon. You go out there and try and weather the storm, and uh, you know, we, we regrouped. We were in the game, and I don't even know if I got over 10 shots from that point on. Unfortunately, gave up one, but we, uh, we saw the emotion. You know, took a couple penalties. Probably didn't want to in a situation where we're trying to come back, but you know, everyone's trying to be a little bit harder, a little tougher, and you know, we got on the backs of some guys and just kind of put ourselves in a little bit of a hole, but. You know, we responded and kept it out of our net for the most part after that point. How frustrating is it to, to see that start, especially already down 2 nothing in this series? Yeah, I mean, it's not where you want to be, but you know, we were a resilient group. We've come back. I mean, I went in against Minnesota. We got rallied all the way back, I think 5-1 and one or something like that. Went to overtime. I had all the confidence in the world you guys would do it. And so, you know, when you go in there in that situation, my job is just, you know, stop the next one and give them a chance to fight back. And unfortunately, tonight we didn't get the, the goals we needed to come back in. But, you know, it's a, a standpoint. We held them off the board from that point on. You were asked a couple of days ago to diagnose from your vantage point as a fellow goalie what had made Jake so good in different spots throughout these playoffs. Is there something you can point to now that was indicative of why he struggled tonight? No, I think you know they made some elite shots and some elite plays. I think you know you got a screen on the on the one that beat him kind of back to the middle of net. You know maybe that's that's when you think as his body's a little bit more there than what you want to. You shift. He's six five. I mean that guy goes short side, which was probably the shot he should have taken. You know, that was my read. He would take over the short side. He. He gets an inch off inside of Lindell's um, hip, and it beats it back. You don't expect it to be there. Unfortunately, it's a it's a tough read, but <laughs> you know that's probably going in a lot of guys on a cross ice pass. I mean, they made some nice plays. The the back end is one of the toughest saves in hockey. You guys coming down wall, you expect to keep on your post, and he throws kind of a, an off change floater, and you're in between your do you reverse? Do you do you step up, play on one on one? And then their first play, it's it's a heads up play. You've got a one timer guy back door in Marshall. I mean, he's scoring that on all 64 of us in this league, so. Um, you break it down that way, it happens, and that's you know it's a testament to our team. You know we got to be a little more dialed as a group, but you know I'm not worried about that kid. Are you getting more comfortable in playoff hockey? Yeah, yeah. it's another game. I think the first time in, in in Seattle, I wanted to make a a big impact and got a little lost in it in a couple early ones, but you almost build it up to more in your head than what it actually is. You know after you get out there, especially with. With home ice in our crowd, it's it's a little bit more on their underside than uh, wedge would you suck chance, but um, sometimes it just comes off as wedge would you rock in my mind. So um, yeah, I mean obviously the more you get out there, the easier it is to play. It was a while between the St. Louis at the end of the year and then the first one in Seattle, but each time we've gotten in there, I've obviously been more confident and you know just play my game. It's, it's all I can do. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. It's you know it's emotional right now. Um, you know, frustrating for sure. Um, when you gotta do the best you can to just flush it and move on here. Is it tough when the captain? I mean, you guys talk about how much you guys follow his lead. Is it tough when that's how the game begins? Jamie's one of the, if not the, you know, best captain in this league and you know top leader. And you know, collectively, we we lost as a group tonight. A lot is made about the physical grind of the series and the playoffs, but a lot of it is mental too. It seems like a lot of the goals against are kind of mental mistakes on y'all's part. How do you kind of take and kind of reset yourself mentally? Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff tonight's between the years. And, you know, as a group, we know that you got to beat us one more time. Um, you know, we have a tight group in here, um, a lot of character, and we're going to give it everything we got. How much tougher is it when the start is the way that it is to then rebound the rest of the way in the rest of the game? Yeah, of course it's tough. Um, you know, we've gotten up, uh, I think, a goal early on these guys, and tonight, you know, it was their turn and our chance to respond, and uh, we just didn't uh, didn't find it tonight. Is there frustration in this room with Jamie for making that play? No, zero. How much did you guys miss Gadinoff, especially after 
being down uh, Ben and then losing Dadnoff later in the first period? Yeah, I mean, the bench got pretty tight there, and um, then we lost someone else, I forget, um, or maybe Maxi. So, yeah, um, just rolling. I'm just trying to find uh, anything. Um, had some good offensive looks. Uh, their goalie played well. Um, maybe needed to make one more extra play tonight, but again, we move on from this. Um, you got to go through us one more time. What's no, the did, you feel, did you guys feel like you were flat to start this game? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Didn't, I can only really talk about you know how maybe individually you feel. I didn't feel flat. Um, I don't know. I got to look at the clips. It was just. Uh, it, it was quick. We're done quick. What's it like for players when fans are kind of throwing trash on the ice and have to conclude a period early like that? Yeah, we don't. We don't love it. Um, you know, we have amazing fans here, and uh, you know that's out of character for them. So, um, you know, hopefully they don't do it, don't do that again. But you know, we put them in that position that they're emotional too, just like us, and they've been uh, on this run with us. So we got to do better for them. How do you how do you regroup and get ready to play uh, after a performance like this? How we've done it all year. Um, we've responded all year. Um, you know, it was a little different. Where you know, last game we probably deserved to win, and, and we didn't, and. Uh, had to respond to that and didn't do a great job tonight. But you know, tonight's one of those nights that we've been here before where we can respond and you know we're looking forward to the opportunity. Are you surprised by that play from Jamie? No, uh, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen it. Um, like I said earlier, you know, Jamie's the best leader I think in this in this league, and um, we lost his group tonight, not him. Tyler, do you say anything to Otter after a game like tonight? Yeah, I just stick with it. Um, he's been the backbone all year and um, so much confidence in him. And um, when goals go in, I mean, there's, there's five of us on the ice that could have helped stop it. So we'll look at the clips, we'll flush it, and we'll get ready for the next game. As a team, how tough is it when Jamie kind of makes that play and, and you know, at, the, at the very start of the game? Um, yeah, you know what? You guys did a tremendous job on the kill early on. Um, when something like that happens, we're, you know, we're killing it good. We get a rush there and comes back and ends up in our net. Um, you know, so guys, walk, we're ready. You know, we went in with good intentions. It looked like Chubbs was, you know, going to have a big game. You know, from a couple of shifts he had, and he was he was engaged right away, and uh, yeah, got tied up. And you know what happened from there? It was, it was just we got to respond better. What did you yeah, think of the play in general that Jamie made? Uh, I don't know. Is tied up and you know engaged and went for a little extra. I, I don't. It's, emotions get the best of all of us at some point and um, we move on. Did he's, he say anything to the group about it? No. I mean, he, he wears it as much as anybody. He's a tremendous leader. We've never questioned that. And you know, it's now it says a group. We got to rally together. Are you disappointed in that, Joe? No. I mean, it's. <laughs> You guys ask. I'm just pointing a guy that we got so much respect for, and we battle so hard. And uh, I, I got no problems with Chubbs. And um, you know what? We we needed to be better from there, and, and we weren't. And we gotta move on. You know, we're we still have an understanding. We're in the conference finals. They don't they don't come around every day, and um, we still have a little life. And we gotta really narrow our focus here, and you know, go with that one goal mentality. And Put the effort in, and you know, start start winning a few more battles here and there, and do a few things, and make it tough on them, and get them thinking. How deflating is just the overall start? You talk about those first seven and a half minutes before Jake gets pulled. How tough is it to then rebound the next fifty something minutes from that? Well, uh, you know, you have an understanding. There's a lot of game left, and for us, that, that's that was the message. Let's let's get it going. I, like, if we can get one, the game changes in a hurry. There's going to be you know, good chance there'll be some power plays along the way, and um, you know, different areas to you know find a way back into the game. Joe, how frustrating was the the fans the throwing the things on the ice? And have you ever been a part of something like that where you ended a period early? Yeah, even? yeah I don't know. Um, you know, it's I, I don't know what to think about it. It's we have tremendous fans. We love playing for them. We're, <laughs> Engaged, they wanted as much as we did, and they showed it in that that way. And um, it's hard to say. It's what happens. You don't like to see it, but we 
we have to be better, you know, for them. We're all in this together, and they wanted a better performance. They didn't get it out of us, and, and now it's up to us to, to bring it. How much tonight was a mental battle? It seems like there were some physical mistakes, but it seems like mental mistakes, especially at the end of last game and then tonight. You know, do you guys look at that, talk about it all? Yeah, I, I mean, we could be better all around. It's just a game like that happens. You know, you got to be ready right from the start. Or, you know, coming back, we want to take care of this at home. We did, didn't do that tonight, and we got to regroup now. Is it easier to regroup after a loss like that or an overtime loss? <laughs> You know what, either way, you know, losses, you don't like them this time of year. And, um, you know, we got to go play hockey. But I don't, there's, we got to go out and reestablish some momentum for us and work through a four line team like we've done all year and, and you know, lay it on the line and, um, you know, find a few goals along the way and try to get a win. Should Jamie be standing here talking right now? Not necessarily. I mean, he's been out for a while. It's, it's just one of those situations. You're sitting there. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. I, I don't. I don't know the, the right answer to that. Um, 